Hello, John again. I don't know if you can hear my neighbor's generator. He's got a Generac. His does a weekly exercise. I have to get mine out <laughs> and do its exercise. I don't do it every week. I do it maybe every couple weeks or at least once a month because they recommend on the diesel um, that you do that so the internals don't uh, rust the oil circulating. But anyhow, I'm doing a uh, uh, redoing this. Um, I got a comment on, um, well, basically what I've done is I've upgraded my backup generator um, from the one that I had. Um, some of the infrastructure I'm, re I'm using and then other parts of it I've, I've upgraded. But uh, the, the comment that the viewer had was be more organized <laughs> so so this is my attempt at being more organized so anyhow I'll start with each component that I upgraded and and th that I didn't upgrade um, this is one of the upgrades it's a 50 gallon transfer tank I bought it farmer fleet I made the cart this separates I can, you can see I got the forks of Brutus under there and then I made this cart with the casters but I, I can lift that off and put it on my trailer I'll show you the trailer and then I strap it down and take it to, and I get it to the bus it holds 50 gallons I got the uh, fill right hand crank they also make a pump one I went with the hand crank one I don't know which is better but, um, and then uh, the filter I guess you make, make sure you use the proper um, tape, pipe tape, for fuel. This happened to be yellow. Um, and then when I was putting this in, the instructions call for the tube that goes down. I didn't have to cut it. Some people have to cut them because their tank isn't as deep, like in trucks, the tanks in trucks. This one was long enough, but I guess you're supposed to keep it like two inches off of the bottom of the tank, which I don't quite understand, but that I just followed the instructions. So anyhow, that's the fuel tank upgrade. Um, I upgraded from those cans there underneath that tub. Um, I think I got four of them under there. Um, and I upgraded, uh, that's the, my trailer that I take it to fill out. Um, I I believe the, f the, the shelf life on diesel is two years. And Brutus is diesel, my new generator is diesel, and both of my vehicles, my truck and my, my, my wife's car, are both diesel. So the plan is, is I should go through 50 gallons with Brutus in two year period and then if I need the generator as well. And then if I don't, I can always put it in my truck and, 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 and be able to make sure I, I, I'm uh, going through it in, in two years. So that's the fuel um, upgrade. Um, that's, that's the generator. But let me show you the, the what I didn't upgrade. This is what I had on my old generator, the 25 foot cord with the right plug and then I've got the box and that goes down to my panel downstairs and the transfer switch and everything and then I just plug in the that cord and then run it out underneath the garage and it plugs in to the uh, the proper plug there and then um, also, my old generator was grounded to the frame of, that was on the generator. This one, the instructions said to either ground it to a plumbing pipe or what I've done there is I've, I've driven a, a grounding rod, eight foot grounding rod into the ground and I just disconnect it over there at the grounding rod. It's just a little connector, the, the wire goes in, I've got it, I've got it electric taped. I just pull that out 
I wind it up and I just I leave this one connected I just wind it up and set it up on top of the, the generator and then I also got a cover for this um, when it's not in use I put the cover over it to keep the spiders and dust and everything off of it and then this this shelter is an upgrade um, let me stand back so you can see it um, it's I can take it down I ba basically made three separate like trusses um, and then there's four purlins and they're all, everything's screwed together the 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 the, the uh, roof is all screwed on but what I've been doing is just moving it with Brutus to another part of my yard and putting things under it you know uh, you could put firewood or whatever or I can totally disassemble it um, and store it in a shed it's just that then if you need it then you gotta assemble it but it, it, it disassembles and assembles fairly quickly um, and uh, but anyhow I wanted something to, to have it out of the out of the elements you know when I'm when I'm using it um, our power can go out quite a bit here um, and uh, especially with what's going on in the world you never know it's, it's good to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it because because I'm on I'm a, I have a well and I have a boiler um, so if it, power goes off in the winter and you know the boiler pipes would freeze that would be a major major cost so anyhow let me go over the starting procedure here um, Obviously, you check your oil and your your water because this is a, a wet a coolant type. It's not air cooled. It's an it's a it's a water cooled uh, diesel. And then you turn on your your fuel line right there. And then you shut the lid. And I had this running a little earlier, so it, it the glow plug may not glow as long as when you would start it from, from from cold. But make sure your circuit breaker is off. You don't turn that on until um, you're you've got it running and it's it's warmed up. Um, and then you you know you turn that on, and then you you would turn your breakers on your circuit on your uh, transfer switch. I'll show you that when we go down to the panel, but. And then to start it, you turn it light there, battery, and then the glow plug. As soon as the glow plug goes off, and that's it. And I noticed when you start it cold, there's quite a bit of smoke that comes out, but as soon as it gets up to temperature, it it uh, it's it's pretty clear. Well, let me take you down and show you the, the transfer switch. Okay. This is the transfer switch, and it's got meters. And obviously, you would now you would you would before you come down, you, your generator's warmed up. You would turn your circuit breaker on, and then you, I've got my well, laundry, freezer, refrigerator, boiler, office, garage, upstairs, bath, family room, down kitchen. My old transfer switch only had four circuits. This one has 10. And that, that's a 7KW uh, Kubota diesel. It can handle, you know, I mean, you wouldn't want to overload it, but the meter's going to tell you. Um, but it, uh, I, I just got more slots, you know, to have, you know, especially with LED lights, you know, like a LED lights in the garage. I mean, it's not going to overload. Um, but you would just turn each one on as, as, as you know, I, w I wouldn't turn them on all at once. Turn on, I start with the well generally and then go on down the line. But uh, 
you know, I know some some situations they mount these outside and then plug in, but my system, the way the electrician hooked it up originally, here's the there's the he had it coming through and it was setting right here and it was a little different. It was a it was an older transfer switch. You had to toggle it, but mainly that's to protect anybody down you know any worker on the system down you know the the main grid so it's not back feeding power um to the to the main grid it's, it's just a safety you, you 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 need it you can't just run it into your into your into your box but that's about it um i uh hopefully that was helpful and uh not confusing and uh, hopefully I was more prepared. <laughs> so anyhow, you all have a good day and God bless.